Welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing really really well today So I am really excited to share today's video with you because I really really hope that it's going to help some of you out there Who are struggling with anxiety with depression with any kind of mental illness um, Or negative thoughts things like that I really really hope this video is going to help you guys and it's going to just share 15 things that I do in my life to help my anxiety and to help improve my mood on a daily basis So yeah, let's get into the video So the first thing that I like to do is I like to drink chamomile tea You all know that I absolutely love tea, but chamomile tea is one of my favorites so I recently got this blend by Femna and it's the Relax Tea, so this is an amazing blend. It has tansy, angelica root, lavender, balm, passionflower, rose and chamomile. So yeah, amazing, absolutely like boosted version of chamomile tea. It's got rose, it's got lavender, both things that are amazing for anxiety and just making you feel really calm and really lovely. So I showed you this in my monthly favourites video. So you can see how beautiful that tea is and the, the rose edition is just amazing. So tea is amazing at improving mood and improving anxiety. There are two main chemicals in chamomile tea which actually really do help to improve mood and anxiety levels and those two chemicals are apigen and luolin. I probably said those totally wrong but I'll write the names below and I'll leave the study below too. Um, but basically drinking one to three cups of chamomile tea a day really really just help to improve anxiety levels overall. And as well as that I think it's just really comforting to pour yourself a cup of tea, be completely in the moment, make yourself a cup of tea, drink it and it just be so warm, so nurturing and so lovely if you manage to drink it while it's warm unlike me. <laughs> so the next thing that I do is I love to use essential oils, I include these as part of my daily routine and um, I absolutely love them. The three main ones that I like to use are lavender, geranium and vanilla. Woo! So lavender is amazing, it's one of the best essential oils you can use for anxiety, for depression, for anything, insomnia. Awesome, awesome essential oil and it's so powerful. It's great if you are really struggling to sleep, it can really help to soothe you, to like relax you a lot. Um, before a video I like to put a drop of this onto my wrist and just inhale it. I like to put it on my hands and just rub it, whoop, <laughs> rub it together and then smear it over my pillow just before I go to sleep. Um, if I'm going to meditate then I like to put some on me as well. Frankincense is also amazing for this too. But in terms of reducing anxiety, I have literally used lavender for absolutely years and I love it to pieces. It's one of the most comforting scents I've ever known. I wasn't a massive fan of it when I first started but you know now that I've gotten used to it I absolutely love it. Um, the other one that's really popular is vanilla, so vanilla isn't essential oil, it's actually an absolute, but this is amazing and this is from Eden's Garden and I'm really impressed with the smell of it. Um, so I like to include this in my morning routine, so if I'm feeling really anxious that morning I will put a few drops of this into some coconut oil and apply it all over my body because vanilla was in a study where they found that people that inhaled the scent of vanilla before doing something scary or something, they were found to be 63% less likely to have anxiety than those who didn't inhale the scent. So yeah, vanilla is amazing at reducing anxiety too, so if you can get your hands on a vanilla absolute then I highly recommend it because also it smells delicious like cakes. <laughs> um, and then the last essential oil I want to share is grapefruit. So grapefruit is awesome for those of you who may struggle with you know getting going so I said in my um, anxiety video there's two types of anxiety really well two main types so the one that you um, you get up and go and you go and cr go crazy with your day and the other one where it's really difficult to get going so if I'm having a difficult day I like to inhale this because it really does improve my mood dramatically you know just inhaling this scent really gets me going I might use this in my sugar scrubs I might put this in the shower you know anything just gives me that boost of energy that I might need for the day and then the next thing which I'm really really excited about is an app um, that you can download on your phone and it's called Youper. So I want to say a massive thank you to Youper for sponsoring this video. I am so so proud to be sharing this company with you because I think they are going to do amazing things for the world. So basically Youper is an app built with artificial intelligence and you can have conversations with you know with the app um, and it's like talking to a therapist and it's amazing. So yeah you know you can ask it questions, it asks you questions, it prompts you to journal kind of, you can track your mood, you can do mindfulness meditation sessions it's amazing and I did some of the mindfulness meditation sessions this week and I just want to say like they are so like the Vipassana meditation that I went on apart from you being guided and I just think that's amazing like getting that meditation to the masses just 
oh <laughs> it makes me so proud so yes really really love this app and I think it's absolutely wonderful and it also just gives you an opportunity to be able to track your mood and be able to track what's going on with yourself and see you know different things and maybe come to a conclusion about why you're feeling the way you do so if you are feeling really really anxious really really overwhelmed download Youper and just see you know see if you can talk your way out of it see if you can understand a little bit more do a mindfulness meditation session see if you can make yourself feel better absolutely I'm in love with this app so any of you out there struggling please 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 download this and please use it because I you know I wouldn't just say this I'm in love with this app I think it's amazing and yeah I just I think you are awesome so thank you so so much like I said I think this app is awesome it's one of the best like um, mindfulness meditation apps that I've ever used and also just the way that you can talk to this thing it's just amazing it's just like having a conversation so yeah so the fourth thing is something really simple and it's to be outside in the sunshine for at least 15 minutes a day to get that sun exposure on your skin you know if you can pull your sleeves up you know expose your chest a little bit um, get that sun on your skin get that vitamin D in your body because vitamin D is linked really 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 linked to happiness overall and I just think it's amazing to be able to get yourself out in the sun even if you're not going for a walk even if you're just sitting in the sun you know amazing it really does improve you know your overall anxiety levels in general because you just feel so much happier overall which kind of links to exercise so you all know I started running recently and running has massively improved my anxiety levels and when I don't run I feel a lot more anxious when I than when I do run generally like over the course of weeks so yeah exercise is amazing because it helps to boost endorphins which are the things that make you feel happy but also it reduces cortisol levels which is the thing that causes stress which causes anxiety so by exercise exercising you're doing so much good for your body you're not only getting your body moving and getting that blood pumping you know you are actively reducing cortisol levels in your blood which is awesome it's exactly what you need and it will definitely help you to sleep at night too so exercise is definitely underrated and I feel like you're rolling your eyes at me right now but you know even just a quick stroll and your lunchtime break will do so so much good for you so the next thing is try and reduce your caffeine intake so I cannot drink caffeine in any way I cannot drink coffee coffee is way too strong for me it makes me a jittery mess Um, I cannot drink it to save my life it just makes me shaky it makes me feel like my heart's racing um yeah definitely have adverse effects to caffeine so you know if you do struggle with anxiety you get those symptoms too it's likely you've got a little bit of a caffeine sensitivity too um I do eat a lot of chocolate and days where I eat a lot of chocolate my anxiety is worse but I tend to lean on chocolate as like a relief from anxiety too so just be really mindful of what you're doing because generally I eat way too much chocolate I don't even realize it and then I'm more and more anxious as days go on and then I realize what I've done and so I cut back my chocolate intake and when I do that you know I feel a lot better so something you can do instead of having cocoa powder is have cacao instead and um, it's a lot more of like a nurturing kind of caffeine as opposed to cocoa which is just a really really much more harsh version so yeah you know if you do still like chocolate try and just change the kind of chocolate that you use because it might be a little bit more helpful um, and also you know if you eat and if you eat a lot of chocolate you eat a lot of sugar and sugar is not very good if you've got anxiety too um, but there are so many like sneaky little ways that caffeine can get into your body so <laughs> I've said coffee I've said chocolate obviously anything that has caffeine included in it so even taking painkillers, if you take like an ibuprofen or paracetamol, check the packet because generally they have caffeine in because if you're not feeling well, they want you to get going, so they put caffeine in. So, you know, if you are sensitive to caffeine and you take painkillers daily or, you know, every now and then, um, that might be one way that you're getting caffeine into your body and you don't even know. And then another way is energy drinks. So obviously energy drinks help to boost your energy levels um but they contain caffeine and you know caffeine just it, it really does not help me at all so maybe if you do drink coffee and you know you are an anxious person try and cut it out for a little while and see if it makes a difference because it made such a difference on my life and i'm going to try and cut down on my uh, chocolate intake because i think that's really helping too <laughs> So the next thing is something that I've used for a lot of years and it is actually something really random that I don't think I've ever seen mentioned on YouTube before and it's a worry stone. So I love this worry stone. I've had it in my life for a lot of years now. I travelled with it while I was away because it's just really nice. So worry stones are basically this thing where it's got this little imprint groove and you can just use your thumb and you can rub it like this. So this is like the original fidget spinner if any of you know what a fidget spinner is. <laughs> if you've got kids I'm sure you will. But yeah you just rub your thumb on it like this and basically Basically what happens is as you rub your thumb, some people may say that there's pressure points in your thumb that help to reduce the anxiety. Another thing that's thought of is that doing something different, so if you're just sat worrying, obsessing, 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 if you do this, you kind of cut into your 
thought pattern and you can detract away from the thoughts you're having and concentrate on this more so it's really helpful if you're an overthinker or you know if you're worried about something which is why it's called a worry stone and they've been used for absolutely years and years and years centuries um you know they're really really popular and you can get all kinds of them so i've got an amethyst crystal um but you can get any type you know and even if you just went to a river and picked up one from the riverbed there are so many ways you can do it and it just really really helps to change your mood change your mindset and just stop you from worrying about something and just focus on how nice it feels to rub this stone <laughs> which sounds really weird but it really really works so if you do struggle with anxiety I recommend getting yourself a worry stone or a palm stone which leads me on to crystals so you all know I'm an absolute crystal lover and um, some of my favorite crystals are amethyst rose quartz, I love black tourmaline, I like smoky quartz, I love normal quartz, all of these are amazing for reducing anxiety levels, they're really really grounding crystals and another one that I really love if you struggle with social anxiety is celestite, it's amazing at you know helping you in social situations and I've been using it a lot recently and I find a massive difference so I really love crystals, I really believe in crystals and I'll probably do a video talking about crystals in the future because I'm really passionate about them. <laughs> so the next thing is listening to music, I mentioned this in my how to boost your mood video and um, that I made a while back I will link that below as well if you're interested and it's called solfeggio music so solfeggio music is amazing and the one that you want to listen to for anxiety is 528 Hertz so there is loads of videos and I will link my favorite ones below um, and it's basically music that's on a certain vibrational level used with singing bowls and it's amazing so if you are feeling anxious if you're feeling really stressed you know and you don't know why and you can't shake it and you've got the day off or you know if you, even if you haven't got the day off if you can listen to it with your earphones in um, if you put this on and just do your day, you know, it will really help and it will really kind of get you out of the anxiety like mindset and it will really help to lift your vibration, lift your mood. I really love self edgy music, I think it's amazing. And there are so many studies now with evidence to suggest that this actually works and I do believe in sound healing. I think it's really amazing to kind of use sound to heal yourself. I think that's so cool. So the next thing is something that I've mentioned before earlier in the video and it's meditation. You all know that I love meditation. I don't do it far, far enough. But when I do do meditation, you know, um, consistently, I notice a massive difference and a massive improvement in my anxiety and depression levels. It really helps to boost me. It really helps to get my mood going. It helps me to stop being so reactive. Um, and there are so many ways you can implement meditation into your life. You don't have to do like an hour sitting. You don't even have to do half an hour. I have the Fitbit and on here there is a little or meditation thing and um, so this is a Fitbit charge too I think it is um, and you can just go on there and you can press it and it does this breathing exercise where it vibrates when you breathe in it vibrates when you breathe out and basically just breath work in general even if you don't have a Fitbit you can just put a timer on your phone for 30 seconds for a minute just become aware of your breath become aware of your breathing and you will come back into your body and you will stop obsessing over whatever you have going on in your brain in your life right now that's kind of taking you into this completely anxiety riddle path um, so yeah breath work is amazing just concentrate on your breathing because one thing that you will realize if you do this a lot is that when you're anxious when you're stressed your breathing is not normal it becomes really rapid and it becomes really frantic when you become aware of that you know you breathe properly you start breathing normally and you can just bring your breathing back to a normal like I don't know, tempo, <laughs> normal tempo and it really helps to calm you down and calm your body and stop it from panicking so much um, because of the thoughts that you're having. So the next thing that is a foolproof thing that is something I do all the time is if I'm feeling really anxious and really, really stressed, even if it's when I've woken up and I feel like this or it could be when I've finished work or, you know, finished my day and I just feel really overwhelmed or don't know what to do with myself, I will just start writing, writing and writing and writing. So it could be on my laptop, it could be written by hand and I'll just write every single thing that is in my brain and I'll just like have a stream of consciousness onto the page writing every single thing that's wrong or everything that I just have in my brain that I don't want in my brain anymore um, and it's quite exhausting to do but it's so so powerful so once you've got to the end of what you want to write you can either read back through it or you can just burn it like you don't even have to read back through it but um, by, th by the time I've got to the end of the page I just try and turn it onto a positive slant try and think of something positive think of a way out and you'll find that once all those things are written on that page you just feel so so much better um, and I mentioned this in that, vid that other video too that you don't have to write it you can just talk you can just talk to a camera you can just talk to a person you could just talk to yourself no one's judging here you know just do what you want to do do whatever you need to do to get those words out of your brain so the next thing is obviously something really simple but something so so overlooked in our society unfortunately and it's just to be in nature so when I'm in nature I just feel so much more connected and so much more in line with everything and when I'm at home all the time in my bedroom I just start to feel really disconnected from the planet and the world around me and I just kind of go into my own little universe of and, and everything just 
changes like it's not the same as when you're outside in nature being you know walking around in the trees walking around barefoot everything just starts to feel more like back in place and you start to realize there are bigger things in the world there's a bigger picture and it kind of really helps to relieve my anxiety and depression a lot you know just just going for a walk or just sitting outside and feeling the breeze feeling the wind touch my face it helps bring me back into the moment which can be really really helpful if you are struggling if you're having a really anxious day so the next thing is to be creative do something that you love you all know that I love to make jewellery, this has become my new creative outlet, I absolutely adore it. I also really like painting, I love to, you know, draw, write, read, anything, just do whatever it is that you love to do and do it all the time, you know, the more you do it, the better it will be and it will just help you to stop focusing on your mind and your thoughts and it will help to just bring you back into the moment and enjoy doing what you love because that is the most important thing and that is the thing when, if you are struggling with anxiety and depression, you'll stop doing the things that you love and that is when it becomes really sad so if you can catch yourself before that happens and just start doodling start drawing just anything you know do whatever it is that you love maybe it's crochet maybe it's running maybe it's you know something completely random anything it could be weaving like <laughs> just find something that you really like doing and just do it because it will really help to bring you back into the moment and center your thoughts so the next thing that might get all of your eyes rolling is to eat healthy food and I feel like just saying those words just makes you all go oh <laughs> but honestly eating healthy eating a healthy wholesome diet and healthy food doesn't mean eating salad every day all it means is to me that I am eating nutritious food so nutrient dense as opposed to calorie dense it's just like eating as many colors in a day as I can you know eating vibrant foods having smoothies every day eating as much like fruit and vegetables in a day as I can rather than concentrating on only eating bread or pasta like making the focus of my food the vegetable part you know making it colourful you know I like to have cabbage I like to have kale spinach broccoli anything just all of those colours all in one go and I think that this really helps with anxiety because 90% of your serotonin is actually created in your gut I don't know if any of you know that um, but I'm really interested in the microbiome and there are loads of like really amazing podcasts that I can link below that I really recommend listening to um, but you know your thoughts and your gut are so 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 related and most people don't even realize it but what you put into your body is what you become so you know when I eat chocolate and I eat crappy foods all the time it makes me feel really sluggish and it makes me feel really anxious whereas when I eat really high vibration foods you know foods that we're living like half an hour ago or you know that are still full of life that are still brimming with healthy cells, living cells, you know, they make me feel good, they make me feel amazing as opposed to something that's died and has been put on a shelf and, you know, sat there for months, years. Some foods can be in your cupboard for absolutely years before you eat them, but the thing couldn't have, like, the nutritional value of that food compared to something that's just been picked up a tree, it's not even comparable. So if you can fill your body with foods that are alive, that are rich with nutrients, you know, that is what you need to do. Um, and that will really, really help to reduce your anxiety level so, so much. And also eating lots of leafy greens um, and foods full of magnesium, because magnesium is something else that's linked to anxiety. So if you can get lots of magnesium rich foods into your diet, you will notice a massive difference in your anxiety levels too. And the last thing is something that I do a lot too when I'm really, really struggling with anxiety and it's something that if you are watching this video and you are struggling with anxiety today, I really, really want you to do and I want you to like leave me a comment and let me know if you did this task because I think it's groundbreaking. Um, so I've come to this conclusion by myself but what I basically do is I think of everything that's wrong. So quite similar to the list of just writing a whole page but just write down everything that's wrong. Bullet point list um, things that are on your mind things that you need to get done so it could be anything it could be that you don't want to go outside today that you don't want to make your bed that it's really difficult to get out of bed that you don't want to go and do this presentation this that or the other anything just write everything down it could be anything at all so once you've done that I want you to draw a line down the, down the side of it and on the other side of that line I want you to write a reason why you can do all of those things I want you to try and make everything on that left hand side that's negative a positive so try and turn it on a positive if you can because it's so powerful when you do that and you realize that the problems that you have aren't as big as they seem so yeah this can be anything in life so I did this a lot when we were traveling if I didn't know what was going to happen next so with my farm work I didn't know what was going to happen so I'd write a list of every single thing that could possibly go wrong then I'd write a list of everything every single thing that could possibly go right with the things that were going to go wrong if that makes any sense at all so once you've done that I want you to just start again get a whole new page and just write down your life just write down exactly what you want your life to look like the exact perfect life that you could have for yourself right now in this moment and I want you to write it down and then once you've finished writing you might start to like think in your brain like oh this isn't going to happen this isn't possible and write all those things down 
that you think about this and then do the same process again and you'll see that everything that you want in life is absolutely possible and that there is a path to get to everything you want to do and that really really helps my anxiety level so so much so that task by itself is powerful and you know it really really does help and I hope that I explained it enough if any of you are confused then just leave me a message below and I will be more than happy to help you all so I am sorry I'm a big chatterbox I just had a lot of tips I wanted to share with you all um, and a lot of amazing things and amazing tools that can really help with anxiety obviously I'm not perfect I struggle with anxiety on a daily basis but these are things that really do help to improve my anxiety drastically you know they really do help um, and I think one of the main things that you can do is talk to someone be it professionally or just someone you love or even an app on your phone like Youper anything like that just really helps you to talk through your emotions and to talk about the problems that you're having um, so yeah I really do implore any of you out there who are struggling to find help um, in whatever way you possibly can and I'm always here you know if you want to talk to me if you want to share anything with me then I'm more than happy to try and help you and give you advice I'm not qualified to do so but it's just friendly advice from a friend <laughs> um, so that's it I'm gonna let you all get on with your day thank you so so much for listening to me if you've got this far I think you're all amazing and you know if you are struggling with anxiety then I really hope that you find peace in your day today so thank you so so much for watching this video please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it please share it if you think it could help anyone that you know um, and that's it from me so yeah thank you so so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye guys Thank you.